my name is Suzanne Slade and I'm a children's book author and I'm glad you could join me in my home which is where I live and also where I work and write and I have a little furry friend here who helps me sometimes this is my dog Corduroy when I am writing working on writing research or editing and Corduroy will help me if I get stuck on a story idea we'll go take a walk so I thought you'd like to meet him and I'll let him go back and take a nap and I have written many different kinds of books but recently I've written a lot of space books because I'm very interested in space. In fact when I was young in school I loved math and science so when I went to college I studied engineering and as an engineer I worked for a company called McDonnell Douglas. These are some patches they gave us and I worked on some different rockets. One of them is the Delta rocket and this was used to launch satellites that helped with um, GPS directions for your cars and communications and I also worked on a spacecraft called the Delta Star and so now I do enjoy writing books about space. Here are some of my new ones. Maybe you've heard of them. One is called a computer called Catherine. It's about a mathematician named Catherine Johnson who worked at NASA and helped plot the paths or the trajectories that many of the missions flew. I have a book called Countdown 2979 Days to the Moon, which talks about the missions that led up to Apollo 11, the moon landing. And not many people know about the Apollo's 1 through 10 missions, so this shares a lot of interesting and surprising things about those missions. My other book is called Daring Dozen. Do you have an idea of how many people have been on the moon ever? Well, the subtitle will give you a clue. The 12 who walked on the moon. Only 12 people have been on the moon ever. And this book shares the fascinating stories of what those 12 astronauts did when they were on the moon. Some found ancient moon rocks. Some brought cars, lunar rovers, and drove around. So it's a really fun, interesting book. And this one is Astronaut Annie. It's my first fiction book, and it's about a little girl, Annie, who has a career day coming up at school, and she gets to dress up like what she wants to be when she grows up. And her parents and grandparents give her things for her costume and kind of has a surprise ending. And the fun part about this book, Astronaut Annie, is it was read for a program called Storytime from Space, so astronaut Anne McLean actually read this book up on the space station and then you can watch her reading that book if you go to the Storytime from Space website. So now I thought it would be fun if we did a little space quiz and you can test your space knowledge and also maybe learn something new. So I'm going to start, we have six questions. I'm going to start with my book, A Computer Called Catherine. Okay, are you ready for the questions? So question one is, here's the page in the book. Question one is, Katherine Johnson plotted the path of America's first space flight. Now how long do you think that mission lasted? Do you think it was 15 minutes, one hour, or 20 hours? What's your guess? Well, in fact, it was a 15 minute flight the astronaut was Alan Shepard. He blasted off from Florida and he went up over the ocean. There's his capsule and you can see even in the text it says 15 minutes later he splashed down in the ocean right on target. So remember Alan Shepard's name because this astronaut's going to come up in another question a little bit later. Okay, question two. We're going to move on to my countdown book. So question two is right here about this astronaut, Jim Lovell. He flew on the Apollo 8 mission. This was the first mission that was gonna go up to the moon. They weren't ready to land yet, but they flew around the moon. So on the way, Jim Lovell did a telecast with viewers back home, and he demonstrated how astronauts do something. Do you think he showed how astronauts exercise in space, how they make chocolate pudding, or how they navigate in space? What do you think? Well, you might be surprised to know he actually made up a bag of chocolate pudding in space. So astronauts eat a lot of fun and interesting foods. So, all right, great job on that question.
Okay, question three also comes from the countdown book. And this is a question you might know the answer to. The question is, who was the first person to step on the moon? Who took that first step on the moon? Do you think it was A, Space Cowboy, or B, John Glenn, or C, Neil Armstrong? Who do you think? Well, I bet you're right. It was Neil Armstrong, and here he is walking down off the lunar, the lunar module, taking that first step on the moon. Moving on to question four, which comes from my book, Daring Dozen. Okay, so here we are with question four, and that is about the Apollo 12 mission. This was the mission right after Apollo 11 had done that first landing. So now we have Apollo 12. They're going to try to make a precise moon landing and hit a target. So what they are targeting is a group of craters. Now, do you think those group, that group of craters is in the shape of Mickey Mouse's ears? Or do you think it's in the shape of a snowman? Or do you think it's in the shape of the man on the moon's face? Well, in fact, it was craters that made the shape of a snowman. Here you can see it. And they were targeting to hit the belly button of the snowman, and they made a very precise moon landing, which was awesome because they, they knew for future Apollo missions, they could target where they wanted to land. Okay, here we go to question five. And this question is about astronaut Alan Shepard. Remember, we, he was the one who did that first uh, mission that we saw in the first book. Well, now he's on Apollo 14, and they're landing on the moon, but Alan was a sneaky guy. He snuck something on the rocket and didn't tell Mission Control. So what do you think he snuck on? Do you, do you think he brought a beef sandwich, or do you think he brought postal stamps, or do you think he carried up some golf balls? Well, in fact, he took two golf balls up because Alan wanted to try golfing on the moon where there was one-sixth Earth's gravity and no air. And sure enough, it took a couple tries to hit the ball because he was in that stiff spacesuit. But when he finally did, he sent the ball soaring and he, he yelled out, miles and miles and miles. Our last question is from my astronaut Annie book. And this question is about when the first American woman astronaut flew. Now, Neil Armstrong landed on the moon in 1969. So when do you think Sally Ride, the first American woman, flew that mission? So do you think it was 1975, 1983, or 1989? Well, in fact, Sally Ride flew on June 18, 1983, here she is, and she blasted off aboard the Challenger Space Shuttle. You'll see here some other women. We have Peggy Whitson. She was the first commander of the International Space Station. And here we have Mae Jemison. She was a medical doctor, and after getting her medical degree, she went on and became an astronaut and was the first African-American woman astronaut. And we have Katherine Sullivan, and she took, was the first astronaut woman to make a spacewalk, where you go outside the spacecraft and take a spacewalk. Well, how did you do on the quiz? I, bet, I hope you had fun learning a little bit more about space. And before we leave, or before I say goodbye, I wanted to show you a couple of great resources. One that you might enjoy looking at is if you go to Spot the Station on, on the internet, search under Spot the Station, you can put in your zip code and then it will send you an email when the space station is going to fly overhead, which you can see it with your eyes. It looks kind of like an airplane, but it goes a little faster and a little lower to the ground. It's really cool. You also might want to check out NASA Kids Club on the internet. They have fun games. You can practice driving a rover. And another really cool item is an app on your phone. You can see it here. It's the NASA Selfie app. And if you download it, what you can do then, you can take pictures of your face and you'll, it'll make it a picture of you in space. So I've really enjoyed visiting you here from my home. Thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoy my books and keep reading.